Okay, so here is actually one of the quizzes that I have completed um, for my students. So you can see here we have the directions here. It says, take this quiz to assess your knowledge of the content presented in the lesson. To complete the quiz, click take quiz button. Complete all questions on the quiz. Complete or click the submit quiz button upon completion of the quiz so your score is recorded. And then I always have for additional help, I have this little help button. And then I always leave this huge note. <laughs> No, Canvas logs your activity during your quiz. If you decide to open or go to another tab or window while taking your quiz, your teacher will be notified and you will not receive credit for the summative assessment. So that notification is within the student's quiz results. Right now, I am in an action log, so one of my students' action logs, and you can see everything they did during the quiz. So there's no X's, so they never looked, so this is for their second attempt, you can also look at their first attempt, and you'll see that they never removed themselves from the page. This is a good student. The other thing that I really enjoy looking at is the quiz statistics. So you can see here, it gives me a quiz summary. So the average score of this for all of my periods was a 96%. And the average time was like three minutes long. And so it goes over, and this, I actually will um, bring this, like, bring this up during class. And then I will show the questions on the board, not this, this I have for me. And I will go, okay, we didn't do so well. This is not a very good example because <laughs> they did really well. Um, but let's say, for example, okay, so this one, 67% of them chose the wrong answer. And then 33% of them got this one correct. So this is the one I would go, okay, we need to review this question as a class and I would post the question up on the board and we would talk about why this is the correct answer and why this is not the correct answer to this question. So it's really nice to be able to review. And then what else is cool? So this is showing all of the sections, so all of my periods, but I can break it down. So like this is first period and you can see the average score and then all the questions again and how well they did. So if I go back to that other question, so see, they still um, didn't do so well on that, but it just gives me variety. So now period two, they their average score was a 98%, period three's score was a 97, and then period four, was a 94. So all did really great, but then you can just see the averages per class and review what went wrong. As well as looking at each section, I can also download the student analysis and it'll tell me the last time it was generated. And then also the item analysis, which is like based off of questions. And this is nice if you really like want to look at data. And when I click on this, it will start generating and it will actually download a document for me to observe. So something nice. And I do know that the um, new quizzes does a lot of like quiz analysis as well. So we can look at that in the next video. If for any reason you need to print the quiz, the easiest way to do that is to go to preview and then click right over here, it says print. So when you click print, it will then generate for you a preview. And then of course, since I'm not connected to a printer, I can save this as a PDF. And I actually do this and I save these PDFs in my drive. And this is also one way I share my quizzes like if I have to submit one to an administrator like usually I have to do that for my final exams I will do it this way. Another way you can save quizzes to your computer as like a backup is you can go into your settings 
and then go to export course content. You can export your entire course. I actually on my YouTube channel have an entire video on importing and exporting courses, but instead we'll look at quizzes. So you can click quiz and then you can either do all quizzes or you can select the one quiz and create an export. This will then be downloaded as a file onto your computer and you can import it to any Canvas course that's including outside of your district's instance. So for example, if you decide to move to a different school district and they use Canvas, you can export the quizzes and then import them later on. This is also how you can create a classic quiz and change it into a new quiz by creating an export and importing it. So, I so within quizzes too, if I want to, let's say, share this with someone else, I can also click the three dots and then send it to someone or I can copy it to another course. And what's nice about classic quizzes is when you attach questions like I showed you earlier to the quiz, when you make that copy, it, it will keep the questions. New quizzes, unfortunately, when you send the quiz to someone or copy it to another course, the questions are not attached because of the way that new quizzes is set up as an external tool. Another way to import a quiz, which honestly I think is probably the best way, this is how I do it most of the time, is you go into your settings, your course settings, and we're gonna go to import course content. Okay, so then from here we can select a Canvas course and it's giving me this warning because it doesn't want you to copy the same content. Okay, so I have my sandbox. I do not want all the content. I want specific content. And then this is probably the biggest difference between an import and a copy too, which I know copy too is really easy, but you can remove all of the dates, which is nice. So then we're going to click import and then select the content that we want. When you are selecting a quiz, so you can see quizzes here and I can choose the, here's my demo quiz. It's always a good idea. So we got that one quiz. Always, always, always a good idea to also include the question bank. So let's find the question bank that I created and then select content and it will start to download right here so that's very specific and then there's no so if it's from like a previous year now I don't have to adjust the date every single time it will remove it for me and download nicely the last thing I want to show you with classic quizzes is the speed grader so you can actually view each individual student's quiz and their answers and let's say if you don't like Maybe there was like a mistake question. You can always alter that. And then one thing that's nice is like, let's say you have a written question. Let's say it's at the bottom. So it's number 12. I can select number or question 12 and then skip through each student and it'll take me directly to this question. So that is very nice if you've had like a written response that you have to manually grade within SpeedGrader. That's really great. And then also you can award fudge points. So like if you have, let's say, a bonus um, question or, you know, you assigned extra credit, you can always do like five points and then update the score like this. And then it should calculate over here. So now they got a 15, but I will erase that for me. I can also look at all of the quiz attempts if I click on this link. I'm hiding the student's name above, but if I want to give the student an extra attempt, I can allow the student an extra attempt from here. Another thing, instead of just adding a comment over here for the students to see, um, that isn't really specific, like let's say if question one I could do, instead of doing that, I could actually just go up to question one here 
and then leave a comment of why they got it wrong or right. So I can type my comment here actually instead of a generic broad one over here. And then finally, of course, with the pencil, you can mark this late, missing, excused, or none from the speed grader, which is pretty generic.